Okay, we had some questions. Um, the first one was about how to add a decorative element to a card. So um, I played with it a little bit. I made this border and then I added it to a card and just added some extra de uh, decorations. With that same border, I was able to create a round edge and add it to a card like this one. And modified it a little bit to make this one. You can do whatever you want. This is a card I actually cut out, several of them. So you can see that one simple little border design can do a lot of different things. So I did it all in Make the Cut. And I started with basic shapes, as I often do. So I'll double click on basic shapes and the first shape that I want to get in order to make, this is going to make a quick border to show you the process is a heart. I'll type the first two letters of heart to get the heart options in the basic shapes and the, I'll just take heart one, double click it to add it to my screen. And I would like to have another heart to get that I can go to edit copy and edit, paste in place. And I want to make this this one uh, be about 0.6 inches. The first one comes in at 1 inch because that's how I have it set. And I want a second heart um, slightly smaller. And I'm going to put this on a green screen so you can see the shapes as transparent. Now what I'm going to do is stack these type um, S with both selected and it stacks them perfectly centered and then move this center one down using my arrow keys because I want kind of this idea of a um, hollow heart. And then I'm going to take the, uh, select the center heart and use control and shift and click to give me another one. So I want to join these two together to look at them the way they would look if I were to cut them by clicking on the join icon at the bottom of the screen. Now I have two shapes and I'm going to type B to get them both at the same level. And I'm going to move this one over so it's slightly overlapped and make a copy of each of these. Control Shift click gives me a copy as well as going to the edit, copy, and paste in place. So I have um, some shapes here that I can now duplicate. I select them and go to edit, duplicate. And I don't want any um, spaces between. In fact, I want them to overlap. So I'm going to put a minus because minus gives you an overlap. Minus 0.1, I believe. Now I'm going to keep moving that spacing to make it a little bit less because I want the left side to be even with the right side. So when I get it to looking about right, I will, that will be good. Now um, I don't need 13 columns because my card's only going to have a, a height of of um, seven, five and a half inches. I'm going to make an A2 card. So let's see how wide that is. It's pretty wide. I can work with that. What I want to do is make the beginning of this edge to be like the end. So I'm going to remove this little piece here. And then I'll be able to weld. But I'm not going to weld it yet. What I want to do is add some little dots. So I'll go to the basic shapes and I get a circle. CI takes a circle. Double click the circle. And while I'm here, I think I'll grab a square SQ. 
double click on that. So I have my circle and square over here. I want to resize the circle to about um, point one. Enter. Just a small, tiny circle. It could be bigger. Maybe I'll make it 0.15. You can make it whatever size you want. And I'll just um, put it kind of close. So what I'm doing is I'm making a border design. So I'm going to go to Edit and Duplicate. And we don't want these overlapping. I think I want them about 0.5 inches, about a half inch, and enough to where I get the... one one under the furthest one to the right. I could put them wherever I want. And then I'm going to add another little heart, and maybe I'll, I'll make it about a point one it's pretty small. Make it a point two. Enter. Still pretty small. I'll make it point two five. Again, you can you can do this however you like. I'm just kind of making a border, and this shows how you can take any shapes and you make any border you want out of it, and and it can end up being really nice. So now I'm going to duplicate it. Edit duplicate. And I don't need 14. I'll reduce that down. That maybe should be OK. And with them selected, I can actually hold a control key to stretch them out a little bit more. And I'm kind of putting them in the middle of the circles, I can grab a couple more. Control Shift Click gives me a couple more. I could go back and undo to make sure they were perfectly aligned. But if you, if you want to align them all, you can select them all and type B to align them to the bottom. And maybe, oops, maybe I'll grab these and move them up a little bit more. I don't want them to run into the Hard so we'll move these down just a couple taps with the arrow key. Then I'm going to use this uh, square here and line the left side of it up with the top of this heart up here. When I've got it selected, and you can see that the dotted gray lines are lined up with the left edge here of this this heart. And now I'm going to click and click again to get this straight sizing arrows, maybe move it up a bit, because you just want it to cover up these bottom shapes on making a border. And on the right side, I want the right edge, again, to line up with the right edge of that last heart. So now I have that the way I want. I'm going to go ahead and grab the all the hearts and weld them together. Before I do, I'm going to I want to grab a couple of these. Control Shift Click. Uh, I didn't want that one. I'll hide that one for a second. I want a couple of these just to save off to the side. I'm always needing extra pieces if I need to undo something. And so it helps to keep a copy of everything that I've used in case I need to fix something after I've got it done and I don't like the way it looks. So try to get in the habit of keeping a copy. Now I'm selecting just the hearts and welding them. That looks good. Now I'm going to hold shift and click the, the rectangle and weld it. So all the welding is done. Now what I want to do to complete the border is to see the openings where these shapes will make. And to do that, I just click Join when I have them all selected. So now I have a border. And a border is a very valuable thing to have. You can find hundreds and hundreds of borders and edges in the Make the Cut gallery, which you get access to by clicking on this icon that looks like a tic-tac-toe board at the top of the screen. You click it, and you can type in 
edges. You would find all Delight's um, edge designs that she's posted. Three pages, about 27 different files. Or you can go back to um, refine the search and type in borders. You can find all kinds of borders if you don't feel like making one.